You know, before the RITs, there virtually was no, I would say, uh, no communication between the service and the, the people in the villages. just how vast it really is, how big it is. And our objective is to manage wisely in cooperation with um, the tribes on the Cuscom River, to try and talk to over 50 villages on any management activity. And that's been kind of a, a true challenge in how do we best manage out here. I think having local people on your team is absolutely critical because of the way, different ways that things are interpreted on both sides. And having somebody local, they can help frame the discussion in a really effective way. The role that the RITs played was that, that you know, to, to bridge the gap between the villages and the service itself. You know, there, there was a huge gap, but now there's a bridge right over that gap. It's just traveling, meeting new people, getting out there in the villages, making the contacts with um, tribal members, uh, tribal leaders, um, things like that, We're working with the people, and also interacting with the younger generation, the young people. These are folks that have our values, that believe the same things that we do, that want the same things for their children and grandchildren, and they're just such a critical part of disseminating information and collecting information so that there is an open door of communication both ways. Our ability to connect with the community with someone who knows their lifestyle, born and raised here, can speak the language, that RIT standing next to me has value that I can't even equate. It's hard for folks from maybe our community, a Western style society, to understand that it's okay to stop talking. It's okay to have a pause that lasts a long time. Like uh, some of the people from Low 48 that come up, <clears throat> when they speak, they speak very fast. And it's really hard for the people in the villages to understand. And I have to listen very carefully um, when, they're, when they're speaking, I have to think of the, the right words when I'm translating, both in Yupik and in English too. Or even an elder wants to speak in Yupik, it gives them the ability to do that, and Chris can translate it for me, and we can share that information that way. But also it, it helps to demonstrate my, my deep respect for what their language is, what their culture is, um, and Chris is kind of that link to us both ways. Communication from the villages to us and us to the villages. And that just means the world to local people when there is an, an interest and a respect shown to the local culture and the local language. Because our language really is a vehicle for our culture. It's a lot of fun, you know. Um, I had I especially had fun when I was out on the coast when we were doing an emperor goose outreach and I had a chance to go to my village and talk to the people out there. You know, after all the, the outreach and effort the RITs have been doing, the, the, the population had, the, the, the geese began to um, grow. We have made a big difference over the last 30 years, and that's a rewarding thing for me to see.